Hello, class. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Thanks. Yeah? Very good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Hey, welcome, everybody. Qué bueno ver sus caritas, a las que puedo ver sus caritas. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, bueno, vamos a ver. Voy a tomar uh, la asistencia antes que nada. Okay. Uh, well, guys, um, if you could just help me with your, your cameras, that would be wonderful. Okay. Ah, y por cierto, chicos, gracias, gracias, gracias por trabajar en la plataforma. Hoy lo revisé y casi, bueno, el, yo diría que quiero ver como un, un 80% de la casa ya lo completó todo, está al 100%. Y los que no lo han completado les falta muy poco. Así es que muchas gracias, muchas gracias ahí por por trabajar en la plataforma. Eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo lo entendimos? Bueno, yo so, supongo que bastante bien, ¿verdad? Porque vi los cienes, pero quiero asegurarme. ¿Cómo lo entendimos esos ejercicios? ¿Bien? It's clear now. <laughs> clear now? Okay, good, good, good. That's what, that's, that's what we pretend to do, that it should be clear. Okay, what about the rest? It's clear now? Yes. Yeah. Teacher, I, I, I have a problem in, in subject. Oh, okay. You. Equal uh, and finish the, the homework. Okay. Uh, do you have a problem identifying the subject, did you say? Identify. Oh. Right. Okay. And subject. Okay. Uh, eliminate uh, and two subject mm -hmm. uh, in the end. I have eliminate one subject. Right, right. Okay. Um Yes, I, I completely understand it's normal that you will have problems identifying the subject. What I suggest you do to be able to identify the subject is find the verb. Identify the verb. If you identify the verb, whatever is before the verb is the subject. Because the, the rule in English is subject, verb, right? That's the rule, always the subject and then the verb. So if you identify the subject, anything that is before the subject, that's the, the sorry, anything before the verb, that's the subject. Okay. Teacher, other, other thing that generate problem maybe is when the when exist verb to be mm -hmm. and uh, and we eliminate verb to be mm -hmm. but, but then we try to add ing but it doesn't correct mm -hmm. yeah the thing is that I told you there are four steps. Okay. But you don't, there are four steps, but not all four steps you need to do. Okay. okay. Because if, for example, in the first step, you identify the subject, the, the subjects are different, we stop there. We don't continue to step number two or three or four or five. Well, in five, no, right? So there's only four. But there we don't continue. We just, we stay at number one and finish, okay? 
The same thing happens if there is a verb to be, that is step number three and we finish. We don't go to step number four, okay? The, we only go to step number four if we don't do step number three, okay? All right, yes. so, so it's, it's you either have the verb to be or another verb, but you can't have the verb to be and the other verb. So you can't do step number three and four. You can only do three or four, okay? Okay, I, I have to add one step number zero maybe. <laughs> You identify the verb to know the subject. Yeah, yeah. If that if that works for you, go ahead. Step zero, identify this the, the verb. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It all depends. If that works for you, yes, I, I strongly suggest you do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. Any other questions that you have? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Eh, bueno, chicos, uh, veo, solo, veo, solo veo la, las lindas caritas de la mitad de ustedes. Las otras caritas todavía no sé si las voy a ver. Ahí empiezo a verlas. Okay. We can turn on our camera because I'm going to take attendance. Cristina. Cristina? No? Okay. Um, what about uh, Annie? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Annie. Thank you teacher. Carolina? Carolina. No. Um, Mari. Mari. Okay. Uh, Chris, Christy. Present teacher. Okay. Very good, Christy. Jorge. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Karen. Present teacher. Wonderful. Welcome, Karen. Karina. Present. Okay. Welcome, Karina. And Leo Nardo. No, present teacher. Linda. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Linda. Marlene. Present. Okay, welcome, Marlene. Miguel. Present. Present, teacher. Welcome, Miguel. Nelson G. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Nelson A. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Norma. Present teacher. Very good, welcome. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Olga. Omar. Present. Welcome, Omar. Suleyma Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Suleyma. And Suleyma Melkar. Suleyma Melkar. Okay. Um, and Tatiana? Present. Okay, 
Okay, welcome, Papiana. Okay, so the people Thank that you. I didn't hear were Cristina, Carolina, and Suleima Melgar. They todos estamos, verdad? Okay, very good. Okay, guys, um, welcome everybody. Thank you for connecting on time and, and thank you for, um, uh, well, for like I was saying at the beginning, thank you for working in the platform um, so that we could, um, uh, so that you guys could catch up. So thank you very much about that. Okay. Um, Okay, just give me a second. Okay. All right, so please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so we have a verb agreement with com with some complete sub complex subjects. And uh, this is the, the teacher is Jessica Guerrero. And it's intermediate class number seven. And uh, yes, that's it. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Um, okay, so first of all, we're going to look at the, this part here. We have practice called the conversation. The first question is Have you ever heard the term product testing? And then we have the second question, there are two primary types of testing to evaluate a product, the site and handling test and the use test. What do you know about them? So what I'm gonna ask you to do, you're gonna, you're going, I'm going to get you to work in pair, in groups, sorry, small groups. You're gonna be discussing those two, those two questions. Maybe your answer is, I have never heard of it. I have no idea what it is. Or maybe your answer is like, oh yeah, I've heard of it but I really don't, I'm not sure what it is. Or you can say, oh yeah, I know what it is, okay? So whatever it is, I want to discuss what you think, like make a guess. If you don't know anything, make a guess, okay? All right, so those, the, only these questions, only these questions, please do not practice the conversation. It's only these questions. Estamos? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, good. Um, all right. So I'm going to get you to work in groups. Okay. And I'm gonna give you, you know, not very much time. I'm just gonna get you, I'm gonna give you about five minutes. Okay, so let's open the rooms. Well, you know, uh, in this course, the discuss the answer on the question below. below. Yes. yes. Two, two questions. Yes. Why do you think it's necessary to test a product before they are released to the market? 
Esa vamos a discutir. Y have you ever have you ever tested products? Los primeros tipos de todo la versión de todo is the the, the conversation de Mr. Vélez o Mrs. Ayala. No, it's the page 20 and you need to page 20. Ah, ok, ok. Página 20. Yes. Ah, ok. Okay. Entonces vamos a, a leer o, o vamos a qué vamos a discutir. Uh, teacher, the two questions. The question over uh, only. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. It's the two question is I send the chat. I don't know. What do you think is necessary? Oh, okay, what do you think is necessary to test products before they are released to the market? Yes. Have you ever tested a product? Yes. Is is this is um, nuestro propio concepto? Or, or? Uh, it's the first question is an opinion. I think so. And the and the second is if you know about or you hear about the the test of products. The test of product. Okay. Okay. Una prueba de uh, si has escuchado el término de o sea, has, has hecho una prueba de producto, básicamente. Yes. In the personal, in the personal or, or in the in the is, eh, conversation. Personal. The personal. In your okay. opinion. The opinion. One side for para realizar el mercado. Is my case is um, in my case uh, you haven't you you haven't ever te ever tested a product? No, no. Is um, or you or you have uh, a, ever tested a product? You have tested a product? No. Is is. Um, uh-huh so i say i never hear about that i think it's a marketing word i think mm -hmm. and i don't know i i think yeah. it's like when when you when you when you i don't know uh, you create the new product about the the, the pruebas or cosas así. When, okay, it's about the prototype, I think. When you prove, prove the prototype. Uh -huh. Something like that, I think. That. Yeah, me too. And there are the, there are two mighty types of oh, okay. tests to evaluate, to evaluate the product. Are the design and quality test and the use test? What do you know about them? Not <laughs> <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. Excuse me. Uh, uh, number one. Uh, 
Let's start. Yep. Okay. Yes. Um, I know this, the two, my type of, but I don't know uh, what is the, como que se hacen cada cosa. Ay. Ok, sorry. Yo pensé que no. Ok. Uh, ok. Are only two, I think. Okay, so let's discuss these questions. Have you ever heard the term product testing? Have you heard the word the 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 word product testing before? Not much, but I think is usually in the economic market, maybe. Okay, very good. Mm-hmm, excellent. But, it, it, but, but means uh, uh, how the product can, can, can be sale in, in the future, maybe, like characteristics and how the product can move to other step. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, anything else? What do you guys think? Have you ever heard of that product testing? For me, teacher, the, the product and strategy is the cost not elevate is good. For me is good. Okay, so you have heard about that before then. Miguel, you heard about it before? Um, or the first time? It's important. It's important. Uh, okay. Unlike, unlike the product. Okay, good. All right, next question. There are two primary types of tests to evaluate a product, the site and handling test and the use test. What do you know about them? So what do you know about the site and handling test? What do you know about that? In my case, teacher, I don't know about um, this term because I don't work in a machine and I don't, I don't know nothing. Okay. Okay. All right. That's okay. No problem. In, in my question? opinion, in my opinion, this sure? is, is, is smell the product, felt the product, um, and know more about the product. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Teacher. Yes. Um, uh, for me, uh, actually, actually, but I imagine um, imagine uh, that that they are the samples that are given to test a product. Okay, okay, yes, 
yes, we definitely need to test the product, you're right. Mm -hmm. Good. What else? Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, that they are to know of what uh, people think of okay. the product. Okay, to find out what people think of the product. Okay, uh, so sight and handling. What do you understand by sight and handling? Teacher, I think it's how to look like the product and how to work the product. I think it's related with that, with that words, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Handling is touching the touch or something like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So handling means that you're going, yes, you're going to touch it, you're going to manipulate it, you're going to have it in your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. And the use test, what do you think about that? What do you know about the use test? Manip manipulate the, the product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? The use test. What do you know? What do you know? Or what can you, what do you imagine about the use test? Any ideas? Una prueba. Mm hmm yeah yeah for example teacher if the product is a is a t-shirt uh, you have to put the the t-shirt to to fill the whole this this works okay okay good so not just touching the product but actually wearing the product mm -hmm. using it mm -hmm. okay very good all right, now that we have that covered, let's take a look at this conversation. Can you see my, my PowerPoint? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay so, so we have here, it's a conversation between three people. Mr. Vélez, uh, Ms. Alaya, uh, Ayala, and Mr. Uh, no, sorry, and Mr. Avila. Okay, so there's three people here. Um, just, I just wanted to call your attention to something. Um, how do you pronounce this? Miss. Miss, no. Any ideas? I heard one idea. And do you guys agree? Teacher is like a, a, a lamb or Mrs. Okay. Mrs. Senora. Senora Yala. Let, let's 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 first let's identify how the pronunciation. How do you pronounce it? Miss or Mrs. No, because Miss Miss is like this. Okay, Miss. And if you're if you're going to say Senora or that's Mrs. Mrs. Like Mrs. Okay. So let's say let's say that this is like saying Miss, and this one is like saying Mrs. Mrs. Yes. 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 So the question is, 
What is this then? How do you pronounce it? Yes. It's like MS. MS. No, because the yes. miss is like this, right there. Thanks. Yes. Okay, so because miss already is like this one right here, right? So this one is actually pronounced like this. Miz. Myth. Yeah. Myth. The, like a z not a Myth. 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 Okay. Myth. 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 Right. Any questions about that? The meaning is. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's talk about now, now that we talked about pronunciation, let's talk about the meaning. The meaning of the word Ms is when some, when, okay, for example, in the case of men, what is the title for men? Mr. Right. And Ms. So we say it like this. Pronunciation is Mr. Now, something about this word Mr. is very curious because Mr. can be a man that is single, single, the man that is married. All men are Mr. All men. Okay, independent if they are married or not. Whereas Miss, this one here, means that she's not married. And Mrs. means that she is married. So the problem is that unlike Mr. where you don't know if the man is married or not, in English we didn't have a title that was could be used for a woman or that is singular, single or married. So what they decided to do was create this one, which is Ms. And means, means it means that it can be a woman that is either married or single. We don't know. Just like Mr. Okay? Does that make sense? Single, single or married. Single and married both are, are valid. Okay? okay? Because miss is only for single. Right? Miss. Mrs. This is, this is a single woman. Right? And Mrs. is a married. married. Mrs. can be both. And yeah, and Mr. can be either. Single or married. Y como ya saben, pero estamos en la era del feminismo. We, that's not fair. It's not fair that that only men have a title where it doesn't matter if they're single or, or married. So that's why we decided to make a sentence. Sorry, make a, a word where it could also be that the woman is either single or married. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's practice this conversation. Turn off your microphones. We're going to practice it at home. This conversation without any sound. Okay. Perfect. All right. So here we go. Good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product. 
testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you, sorry, all, is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you. Mr. Ayala, the efforts this requires are important to take into account. Definitely, I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job. But have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing costs and i'm good at that okay all right now what i want you to do as we always do Write in the chat any words that you didn't understand. Sorry, no, sorry, not sorry, 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 sorry. No words you didn't understand. Words you don't know how to pronounce. Sorry guys, I don't know why I can't find the word. Um, latest. Can you guys help me? It's in the second line. 
Ah, oh, thank you. Okay, I missed that. Got stuck in the other word. Fancy. You guys tell me where. Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I got it. Got the word fancy. Okay, I think we finished, right? Those are all the words. Okay, all right, let's practice the words. Thrilled. Open up your microphone. Thrilled. 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 Announce. 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 Good. Announce. Latest. 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 Efforts. 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 Good. Good. Next. Uh, definitely. 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 Uh, de definitely. Yes. Definitely. 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 No, 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 no. Listen. Sorry, Definitely. 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 Yes, definitely. 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 Yes, very good. Written. 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 Yes, but sorry, teacher, repeat, please. Written. Written. Rich, rich, 
Moneric. 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 Discuss. 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 Good. Figure. Discuss. Figure. 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 No. Figure. Figure. Figured. Figure. Figured. Figure. 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 No, no, no. The sound is not ju, it's g. Okay, listen. Okay, so everybody stop for a moment. Actually, you know what? For the moment, turn off your microphones. Turn off your microphones because the, I, I, I want everybody to understand it and just hear my pronunciation. So everybody do that me that favor, turn off the microphones. Just for this moment, only this moment. Okay. Okay, so it's figured, 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 figured. Figured, 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 g, fig, fig, okay, figured. Is that a figured, figured, figured. Good. Figured. Excellent. Next, fancy, fancy, fancy. 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 Yes, fancy. You can open your microphone now. You can ask. Fancy. fancy. Yes. yes. Cost versus quality. Cost versus quality. No, listen. Cost, Cost. versus quality. Cost, quality. Cost versus quality. Cost versus quality. Cost versus quality. Cost versus quality. Yes. Cost versus quality. Quality. Cost versus quality. Excellent. And the next one is managing. 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 Mana. 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 Managing. 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 Yes, perfect. All right. Managing. 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 Not managing. Jun no. Jean. Managing. Jean. Managing. 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 Very good. Okay, and that's it. Now I want you guys to tell me uh, which words do you don't know the meaning of the words. You can write in the chat.
Is that it? Only those words? Okay, let's see. So thrilled. The word thrilled means excited. I'm thrilled, it means I'm excited. To announce, to announce means to give a notification, an announcement, to say something important to everybody, okay? Then we have efforts. Efforts is like how much energy and time we put into something. So the efforts are, how do you say in Spanish? Esfuerzo. Los esfuerzos, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, mon, uh, monadic test or the mon, uh, just simply monadic is um, a type of test, okay? We're gonna be studying that, about that in today's class. So it's just a type, it's the name of a, te of a test, okay? And then we have fancy. In, in this context, in this context, it means sophisticated or expensive material. Elegant. It could be elegant, yes, it could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Elegant. Mm -hmm. Okay. And finally, managing. Managing means to administer. So the job is managing costs. It means that they are, um, they are, I said, me that palabra. Administrate. Administrating, yes, thank you. They're administrating the job the cost and everything that's involved, okay? Gerente, teacher. Hmm? Managing his gerente. No, no, administrar. I mean, oh, in this case, administrando. Uh, okay? Okay, okay. Any questions? Maybe we can add figure, figure, figure. The meaning of figure. The meaning of figure. Um, to figure out. The, the thing is, the verb is figure out. Okay. And it means to um, identify something. Okay. So to think about it and say, ah, I, I understand now. Let's figure out. Figure out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it means to understand something and understand what what happened. Okay. 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 So now it's time to practice this conversation with the partner. Oh, sorry, with two partners because there are going to be three people: Mr. Vélez, Ms. Ayala, and Mr. Avila. And you're going to practice the conversation and answer these three questions. First question, what product does the strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Two, what specific concerns does Mr. Vélez have about the product? And three, what is Mr. Avila in charge of? Okay, so I'm going to right now put you into groups. Give me a second. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. It's taking a little bit longer than expected. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to give you, yeah, about five minutes to practice the, well, maybe, oh, no, wait a second. No, no, it's just see. Okay. All right, I'll give you about six minutes to do that. Okay, here we go.
Marlene, any problems? Marlene, do you have any? Okay. Maybe Mr. Vélez. Mr. Miss Ayala. Mr. Vélez. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Uh, good morning. I'm trailer. I'm I'm trailer. The announce we have green light to work on our let our latest product testing stacks. One of the good this I like about good working with you out it the effort you made to do the hope well. My turn. Okay. I, I agree. Carolina. Sorry, my, my, <laughs> sorry. I, I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts, the tasks requires are important to take into account. Count. Marisol. Now it's my turn. Oh. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a manager, manager test. So we can discuss them, take a look. Good, good job. But have to figure, figure out the costs, some difficult decisions to make, refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost and I'm good at that. Okay. 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 Oye, también. Tiene inicio. Yo, eh, uno de ustedes dos tiene que ser. Si quieren, okay. yo soy Ávila y tendría que ser yo Ávila. Uh, Su leima tendría que ser Vélez y usted tendría okay. que ser Ayala. Sorry, okay. Good morning. I am trailing to announce that we have great lead to work on our next product tested task. One of the good things I, li I like about working with you or is the effort to make to do the job well? Uh, no. Conversation is... Usted sigue? Yo. Sí. I agree. Yes. Sorry. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this does require are important to take into account. Sorry. Definitely, definitely, no, definitely, uh, I have already written some ideas for um, a mon monitor, monitor test. So we can discuss them, take a look. Good, Good job. job. I, 
sorry. No, yo voy bien. Good job. Good job. But have you figured out the cause? So, some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material uh, and cost versus quality. Uh, yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job in managing cost um, I include at at Okay, chicas. Okay. Ahora yo inicio. Yes. The questions. Miss no. Ayala, yo. Seri no, sería Miss yo, Ávila. Miss Ayala. Ajá, yo sería Miss Ayala. Eh, Mr. Vélez. Mr. Ávila, sorry. Perdón. Ah, Mr. Ávila, yo Miss Ayala y eh, Vélez, Mr. Vélez sería Marisol. Ok. Good morning. I'm trying to announce we have green light to work on our last product testing task. One of the good things eh, I like about working with you, all this effort you make to do job well. I agree with you, Ms. Ayala. The first, this task require are important to take into account. Definitely, I have a really great greeting song ideal for I ate money tests so we can discuss, then they unlock. Good job, but have you figured out the cost? Some difficult decisions to make reference to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factories in this job in managing costs and got uh, at that. Okay. Um, also, I know they last in your family. Okay. Bueno. This could the answer to the question below. Okay. okay. Number one. Number one. What product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Mm. Conversation. ¿Qué producto, qué estrategia del producto es mencionado en la conversación, verdad? Será... Mm. Lo que dice el Mr. Mr. Vélez. How can I product, product testing task? Um, okay. um, one of the good, no, verdad? One of no. the good things. Uh, uno de los que es el... Marisol. 
Marisol se fue. No. Casi no la oigo. No la escucho. Hola. Eh, sí. no le, eh, Marisol le preguntaba, es, ¿usted cuál cree que es la respuesta a la pregunta número uno? Okay, let's uh, check the first question. So what, pro what product testing strategy is mentioned in the conversation? Monadic test. The monadic test, very good, excellent. And what product, sorry, what specific concerns does Mr. Vélez have about the product? Conk versus material. Sorry? Cost versus ma material. Yeah, very good. What is the cost versus the material? Excellent. And what is Mr. Avila in charge of? Managing cost. Managing the cost. Very good, bravo. Excellent. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do right now, uh, we are going to be learning about verb agreements with complex subjects. Okay, so let's, let's look at that. Verb agreements with complex subjects. Oh, wait a second. No, no. I just remember that we need to do the... Take attendance. Uh, yes, take attendance. All right, so Cristina. Nina? Okay. Um, Annie? Present teacher. Mari? Present. Carolina? Present. Acuérdense, chicos, que tenemos que encender nuestras cameritas en todo momento. Así que si su cámara no está encendida ahorita, hay que, eh, hay que encenderla. Um, Christy? Christy? No? Okay. Um, Jorge? Present teacher. Present teacher. Good. Karina? Present. Good. Leonardo? Present teacher. Linda. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Marlene. Present. Uh, Nelson G. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Miguel. Present teacher. Present. Okay, excellent. Uh, for present. Nelson G. Present. Very good. Uh, remember, let's have the camera on. And Nelson A. Present teacher. Good, thank you. Um, Norma. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Olga. Present teacher. Omar. Present. Okay, very good. Um, is Suleyma Rodriguez? No, Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Suleyma. Present teacher. Good. And 
present. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Now we've taken the attendance. Let's continue with our class. Okay. But now we're going to be looking at verb agreements with complex subjects. What does it mean to have complex subjects? Well, basically, complex subjects are subjects that involve more than one word, okay? And especially if we're talking about quantities. So it's not the same to say, um, um, I don't know, like being, um, students. Uh, it's different from saying the word students to saying, for example, one of our students, one of our students. So then we're being, we're special, we are uh, being specific. That's why it's called complex subject because it's composed of many different parts to create one subject, okay? All right, so it says here, subjects that are preceded by expressions of quantity are called complex subjects, okay? So here we're specifically talking about um, exp sorry, the expressions of quantity. That's what we're talking about here, okay? They either take the singular or the plural verb form depending on the number of the quantifier, singular or plural. So let's take a look, for example. Can you identify just the regular subject? Let's say the simple subject in the part that is underlined. The decisions. Decisions, very good. All right, now the word decisions looks like it's plural because it's, well, decisions is more than one. So you would say, ah, it's plural, so you have to use a plural verb, but no, because it's more, a little more complicated than that. It's not just the decisions, it's the first of the decisions, okay? So here, we are emphasizing the word, the first. How many firsts are there? How many first decisions? One thus. One. One. Only one. The first, el primero, right? So there's only one. You can't have, we can't have, three firsts, right? Then it, then it wouldn't be a first, okay? So that's why we have the, that's why instead of using the plural form of the verb, in this case, um, decisions, the plural form would be have, we use the singular form of the verb because of the word first, okay? So here we have the word has been made. We say has been made and not have been made, okay? The same thing happens over here. One of the good things I like about working with you all, well, it looks like it says here, it, it looks like it uh, might ta be talking about, yeah. um, Things, right? So things look like it's plural, right? Things is plural. But here we're not just talking about things. It's a little more complex than that. So it's it's talking about one of the good things I like about I like about working with you all. Okay. So in this case. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
So here, it, it's not that we're not just talking about um, things, right? What are we talking about? Things. Things. Yes, but it's not just about things. It's what are we talking about? One of the book things. Yes. Work. It's not just things. Plural. One of the good things I like about working with you all. All of that is in Spanish. Una de las cosas buenas que me gusta es why? Why do we going to say why are we going to be using the singular form? Because here we have a quantifier one. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're not just talking about the things. We're talking about one of the good things. If I just say for like, think about it in Spanish. Yes, I say, eh, cosas buenas, las cosas buenas son, right? So we're using the plural form. But if I say to you, una de las cosas buenas mm -hmm. es, like right? Because we're talking about una de las cosas buenas. One, only one here. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right, so that's why the the verb is going to be oh hold on that's why one of the the verb uh, the verb um, to be is not going to be r because we're not talking about things we're talking about one of the good things so that's where we're going to be using is okay the same thing here, it would look, it looks originally yeah. like we're talking about uh, decisions. So we're not just talking about decisions, we are talking about some of the difficult decisions to make in a fancy relationship. So here, the word one, sorry, the word some indicates there is more than one. So that's what we're going to be using R. Okay. Some difficult decisions to make in a in a in relation to fancy material are because here we're talking about some. So it means more than one, okay? And that goes, it, this is a um, something to keep in mind. A majority, whenever you see the word a majority and a number, uh, we take out the plural form when they're used in, in a plural noun, with a plural noun. So if we say a majority, it looks like a singular, right? Una, la, 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 mario, la, mario, sorry. La mayoridad, right? So it sounds like it's more than more than one, but in this case, we're not going to be using it more than one. We're going to be using it as the plural form. The same thing with a number. You say a number of um, the students finished the platform. A number. Um, in that case means finish, not finishes, because it's plural form, a plural verb. Okay? Any questions about this? No? Okay, so remember, always 
look at the first part, the first, one of indicates it's only one. So the verb is gonna be in, in singular form. But here, for example, we have some. Some indicates it's more than one. So the verb has to be in the plural form. Okay? All right, so we're going to now work on the exercises for this. Work with the partner, read the statements below, choose the verb form that agrees with the subject. So you can either use have or has, not, is or are, is or are, yeah. is or are, have or has, pointed out, and suggest or suggests. Okay, so you're just going to decide what, you're going to what would be the best word. Okay, so let me turn. And we're going to go to the breakout rooms. And I think I'm going to Okay, here we go. Um, I'm not going to give you very much time. It shouldn't take you very much time. And here we go. Let's open the rooms. What happened? I'm looking for the page of the model. Oh. So Hola. Okay. Number uh, one. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Look. She finds in this text of the participants on the tasting group. Tasting group. Oh, that's so List of have. Have. Mm -hmm. Have. This is sign on the participant in the tasting group a house or how? It's how. Have, have not arrived, not arrived yet. yet. Yes. House. House. Okay, and this and this and the first is complete subject. Yes or no? Complex subject. Complex subject. Complex subject. Is okay. plural. The first, the second one of the factors to decide on the best type of test is the characters of the product in itself. Is or is this is? Yes. Yes. 
Uh, the third, a number of customers. This is thirty first with the platform on the new mob. Is or are? Uh, is a number of customers. Are you sure? I don't know. I I think it's a one because it's a is a number. A number of but, but the customers. but the 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 what you pay. What page? What page? Number page. 18. 18. What page? And lost. 18. 18. Right. Okay. And uh, in the indication, um, below, the plural in the example, um, Say a majority and a number take a plural pair when they yet they are used with a plural noun. So I don't know is a number a customer are satisfied with the performing on the new yeah. What do you think? Mm. Mm. Uh, do you see <sighs> Look okay. at the example and the the, uh -huh. the plural. A number of in a number thing a plural. Yeah, the example is a, a number. A number is. Talking about the the more than one. But, uh, but in this case, use some, and uh, in this case, uh, number number is singular, but represent a uh, uh, yeah yeah is a numerous right, but yeah, number yeah. is a singular. It's a uh, talking about the one a uh, number, yes. but yes. but the. The examples is um and is the is the um it's like the, the first example uh yeah habla case. sobre sobre alguno of, yes so, some uh, some difficult pero abajo dice como una la la como mayoría no sé si es Cuando mm -hmm. habla de un de una mayoría y de un número. Take a plural verb when. Y yeah, use with a plural noun. O sea, uh -huh. cuando estamos hablando de la mayoría, que tomemos la opción de plural. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, thank you. Um, are we all finished? Did we get uh, did we get a chance to um, to get the answer to discuss the answer? Teacher, I'm, I'm, I'm not on the chair. The hunger. Well, I didn't. I didn't hear you, Miguel. Can you repeat that again? 
I'm not on the stair, the homework teacher. You just have to decide if you're going to choose the verb that is singular or the verb that is plural, depending on the subject, right? It's like, for example, you say, I am a student. You don't yeah. say I are a student, right? Because the subject is I. Yeah. Um, or for example, you say, um, it costs $3 because it is singular, third person singular. So you say costs, right? It has to be the, the, the singular form of the verb. Okay, we don't say it cost, we say it costs. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, just a second. Um, Um, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. You can see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, um, you know what I'm going to do? Quizás lo que debería de haber hecho. Um, second. So basically, we are deciding between the two. Okay, so um, I'm going to choose different people. And you're going to tell me what you think the answer is. Okay. Um, just give me a second. Okay. All right, let's see, we'll have first Norma. Can you read the first one for me? Okay. Some of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Good, thank you. Can you tell me why you decided that it's have and not has not? Can you tell me why, Olga? Or anybody, can someone tell me why? Why it's have not and instead of has not? In my opinion, teacher, is because some of the participants are plural. <laughs> Good, good, good. Some of the participants is the the adverb, sorry, the sorry, the subject, right? Not just some of the participants, it's some of the participants in the testing group. All of that. All of this is the the the, the subject. <laughs> okay, but here we're concentrating specifically on this part here, which is some. Some makes a plural. So we're going to have to use have and not has. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go on to number two. Um, 
Omar, can you help us with number two, please? Yes. Uh, can you read the whole sentence, please? Okay. okay. One of the factors to decide on the best type of test is. Is. The characteristic of the product itself. Yes, thank you. Okay, what made you think that it, the answer is is? First of all, what is the the part the the subject? Who can tell me what the subject is? One of the factors. Mm -hmm. Or? Yes, the factory. Just one of the factors, that's it? That's just all of them? One yes. of the factors to decide on the, decide best, of the best type of the test. Good, all of this is the, the subject. One of the factors to decide on the best type of the test, best type of test is. So it's like they say, uno de los factores para decidir cuál es el mejor tipo de examen is, right? Okay, now why do we use is and not are? Because it's singular. What? what one of the, one one of the factors. One. One. The word one is singular. One of the factors. That's the part we're concentrating on. Good. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the next one. Is Lima Melgar? Can you do number three for me? Okay, teacher. A number of customers are satisfied with the perform performance of the new knob and group. Mm. Okay, good. The, uh -huh. Okay. Um, the, decidimos. Uh, yeah. Um, customer plural. Um, y por ser una decisión, o sea, una toma de decisión. Mm. No sé si... Okay. Uh, what is the subject? Um, customer. Just customers? Yes. Okay. Do you agree, class? Disagree. Okay. What do you think it is? Like a number of customers. Good. The, the okay. subject is a number of customers. Like you say, un, un número de clientes, un número de clientes, right? So even though, yes, um, a number, a number is, it looks like a singular, but this is like an exception. So whenever you see words like a number or mm -hmm. a majority, we're going to always use the plural form of the verb. That's the Perdón. rule. That's like the exception. Okay. There are various, various. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Leonardo, please help me with number four. Okay. Okay, teacher. The fears of the suggestions I want to implement is, is the design of the label. Okay, so you say that it is. Okay, thank you. So what is the, the subject? The fears of the suggestions I want to implement. Very good. All of this is a subject. Okay, so I can say, um, la primera de las sugerencias que yo quiero implementar es, right? Now, why do we use is and not are? 
Because suggestions is plural. Yes, yeah, suggestions plural, but uh, but the first uh, I think is the first. Uh, or is it's the one. Mm -hmm. Good, exactly. It's singular. The first is only one, right? Singular. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Good. Number five. Um, let's see. We'll have Annie help us with number five. Anna. Number five is a majority of stores have pointed out, out the need to make our product lighter. Thank you, Annie. Can you tell me what is the subject? Is a majority of stores. All of this is it. Mm -hmm. And why do we use have? Because remember, yes. Mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, plural to a source and majority only. Exactly. Because a majority is, is an exception, right? Whenever we use, whenever yes. we use a number and a majority, it's an, the exception. So it's always going to be plural form. Thank you. And the last one, vamos, vamos. Karina, please help us with number six, Karina. A number of comments suggest that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Okay, thank you. Why do you say suggest? What is the 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 subject uh, a number of comments that i think is suggest with s oh okay sorry about that okay all right okay so you say it's a number of comments suggests Okay, now what is the, okay, so we know that the, the, the subject is a number of comments. What do we have to concentrate in this one? Do we have to concentrate on this one? Anybody? What's, what, what is la palabra clave? What's the key word? A number. A number, very good. A number is, Plural. even though it's singular, the word a number, but it's one of those exceptions, right? It's an exception. So when, we're there, when we use the word a number, we're gonna be using the singular or plural form? Plural. Plural form. So what would be the correct answer? Suggests. Suggests or suggest? Suggest. Suggest. That would be the correct form. Okay. Suggest is the plural form of suggest. Suggest is third person singular. Okay. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to practice more. Okay. We're going to practice. So, um, um, okay. So, we're going to look at, we have some exercises here. So, let's practice. Take uh, these exercises are not in the book. So, you're going to have to take a screenshot. Okay. Así que tomen la captura de imagen, screenshot. Okay. Okay, teacher. 
Perfect. Everybody took the screenshot? Okay. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing because we're now going to work in pairs and you're going to figure out what the answer is for that. Okay. Um, Okay, so we understand what we're doing? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's open. Open the rooms. Yes. Three of the men alone. Several of the apple, apples. Several. Where is where is several, Karina? I, I don't know. I think it's more than one, but I don't know. Yes. It's more than one. Is uh, several of the apples Art. are yes. several of the apples are roaring, 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 some of the bananas are um, right. 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 I don't know. <laughs> some, some of the bananas are ripped. Right. 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 Okay. right. Mm. And most of the girls are, are here. Are here, yes. Uh, a lot of the people are, are hungry. Are hungry, yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of the bread are gone. Are gone. Yes. Of the cakes, la mitad del half of the cakes. Mm. La mitad del pastel is frosted. Frosted. Half of the cake. Half of is. I don't know. Are. La mitad de, de los. A lot of the bread is the very singular. Is is gone. Hello. Hola, hola. Olga. Olga, are you there? Mm. Olga, um, she's not she's not feeling very well. That's probably why. Mm. 
Yeah. Um, Olga, are you there or not really? Yes, you're there. Uh-huh. Okay. People. Many of the people. Mm -hmm. are, many of the people are students. Are, are students. Many of the people are students. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the bananas are are right. Are algunas algunas de las bananas are number six most of the girls are is our hair pero ahí no sería como que it's bananas no son como que digamos hay algunas de las bananas es que lo que manda acuérdese que es la banana. palabra si si está en está en singular o está en plural Ok, yo lo entiendo, pero ahí tengo uh -huh. una confusión. Ah, confusión. Eh, son of the bananas. And, and for interpreter, eh, it's bananas. For me, probably is is right. It's bananas is right. And you, some of the bananas are right. A mí no me digan, a mí no me digan. For me, a right. Okay. Okay. Um, no. Ah, uh, mm. the six most of the girls here. Ah, uh, yes. more most. Most. most of the girls is here. Mm, más. Más de, la, más de las chicas están acá. Más de las chicas es plural. ¿Verdad? Pues sí, porque tenemos una pena Por lo tanto, sería R, ¿verdad? Por mí es is more of the girls. Is here. ¿Querés que dice más, no menos? Más de las chicas. Pero solo una vez. Ok. A lot of the people is not hungry. Uh -huh. A lot. A lot. Of the people is in our hungry or or are hungry. Hi, you guys finished? Hi. Are we finished or no? No. Teacher, mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. 
eh, bajo mi poco conocimiento, en number one, one of the boy is R6. My opinion is uh, is scored. We're going to check the answers together in a moment, okay? Okay. All right. I'll see you in the in, in the main room. Okay, all right guys, we're gonna be checking the answers uh, so that we don't take very long. You can just open up your microphone, whoever wants to participate and give me the answer. Okay, so the first one we have, one of the boys. Is sick. Is Excellent. Three of the men. We're alone. We're alone. We're alone. We're alone. It's plural. Several of the apples are, are rotten. Are rotten. Many of the people are, are, students. are, students. are the students. It's because it's many, right? Yes. yes. Some of the bananas are right. Are right. Right. Are right. 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 Um, like Maduro, okay? Right, okay. Most of the girls are oh. here. Here. Yeah. Here, good. Oh, yeah. the people are, are hungry. hungry. Are hungry. Are. Uh, yes. Are. Are hungry. The bread. Uh, a lot of the bread yes. is gone. Is gone. It's gone. Because bread is, is well, um, it's uh, the yeah. third, um, sorry, uh, un, uncountable. So we have to use the singular form. Half of the cakes are frosted. Half of the cake is frosted. It is frosted because only there's only one half. All of the monkeys are asleep. Are, asleep. are asleep because all, right, plural. All of the milk is sour. Is sour. Is sour. Is sour. Because is sour. milk is uncountable, right? So, we, so we're always going to use the, the singular form. None of the men is, um, is, sour. is single. Are single. Are single. Are single. Are single. Are single. No, are, are single. None of the men are single. The men are single. None of the excuse was left. Was, were left. Was, was, left. was left. Because orange juice is uncountable. Countable. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, there you go. Those are the answers. All right, we're going to stop there. Thank you very much. And we're just going to take attendance very quickly. Abran sus micrófonos, por favor, para que podamos hacerlo rapidito. Eh, ah, y por cierto, nos quedamos con Karen. Eh, ah, Cristina? Good, thank you. Um, Ani? Present. Present. Very good. Ani? Present. Very good. Uh, Carolina? Present. Cristina? Oh, sorry, Christy, Christy. Christy? Jorge? Present teacher. Karen? Karen? Karina? Present. Leonardo? Present teacher. Linda? Present teacher. Marlene? 
Present. Miguel? Present. Nelson G? Present. Nelson A? Present. Norma? Present, teacher. Eh, Olga? Present, Olga? Present, teacher. Omar? Present. Suleima Rodríguez? Present, teacher. Suleima Melgar? Present, teacher. And Tatiana? Present. Ok, very good. Bueno, chicos, entonces solo me quedo ahí con Karen, ¿verdad? Y that would be it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ok. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Oh, Karen, creo que se desconectó.